Well, joining me live in Boston in the US is Will Shackle, founder of Nuclear for Australia. Good evening to you, Will. We just heard that report there about uh, nuclear waste, but talking about nuclear energy waste, it's certainly been a major issue discussed with our nuclear debate here in Australia. What have you been hearing? Mm. So it's been a lot of disinformation so far about nuclear waste because it's not the toxic green sludge that people think it is, it's actually solid. And that's going to be the same for the waste from the submarines as it will be for the waste from civil nuclear power reactors, the spent fuel, the high level waste. I was really fortunate, I got an opportunity a few days ago to visit the Diablo Canyon power plant in California, which provides approximately 10% of California's power and to see the spent fuel there and it's in large concrete steel reinforced canisters uh, there's only 58 of them and those 58 canisters stored 17 years worth of waste which was enough you know accounted for enough energy to power three million people in california so it's an incredibly small volume of waste we're talking about but the most important thing to remember when it comes to this spent fuel high level nuclear waste is no one no civilian has ever been harmed or killed by nuclear waste contrary to popular belief so it's incredibly safe and it's much easier to store nuclear waste than it is uh, looking at other energy sources all right well we just had that vision that uh, you have sent us through can you talk us through that what that is so those are the large uh, reinforced casts or canisters those ones that were empty at the time uh, some of them did have spent fuel in them uh, which is used to store spent fuel, high level nuclear waste. So once the uranium fuel, which is in large fuel assemblies, is taken out of the reactor after it's been in there providing power for a couple of years, it is extracted. It is then put inside large cooling ponds at the site of the reactor, usually for five years to rapidly cool. And then those fuel assemblies are placed into those large reinforced casks. And that's what I was standing around. That's what I actually I tried punching it. Obviously, I'm not too strong, but uh, to put into perspective how strong these casks are, you know, the UK government has previously crashed, uh, you know, trains at, at high speed into them. So they're incredibly secure. They are tested for the most extreme of conditions. And it's just an example of how, uh, how important clear safety is to the nuclear industry. Uh, and you can, it, it's very obvious to see that. So I was standing a few metres away from the spent nuclear fuel there, and that's realistically what we would see in Australia. But there mm. is an additional element. It doesn't have to be uh, basically in those on-site repositories like that. There are the option for deep geological repositories like they're doing in Finland, and this waste can also be reprocessed. So once the fuel assemblies are taken out of the reactor, they still maintain around 90% of their energy. So they can be used again and again and again, and there's new technologies uh, being used around the world, especially in France, uh, in order to do that.